man, a lot of the disgrace that women go through in terms of keeping a man, holding on, is because of how other women will view them. They don't want to look like they failed. They want to look like they have a successful relationship. They want to look like their man is nice to them and spoiling them. And they've got a good thing going and they don't want to have to could turn around to other women and be like, okay, hands up. Like, this Interesting. crap. Interesting you say that because mm-hmm. I can understand that kind of thought process. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe I'm just biased, so enlighten mm-hmm. me. But I feel that any time, nine times out of 10, if mm-hmm. I'm hearing or seeing something online or publicly mm-hmm. about a breakup, mm-hmm. it was almost always his fault. Yes. Like the woman's like, he didn't wasn't doing this. I wasn't fulfilled. Yeah. If he cheated, then, you know, fair enough. But like, outside of cheating it was always that he wasn't he was he was lacking in the relationship that's why it ended so it's interesting that you're saying that women think other women will see her as failing but then when the breakup actually happens it seems to be expressed that it's because he failed did you you see what i'm saying yeah but i think that's to kind of you kind of have to do that because you're not going to be like i was trash and also (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth but also women know full well and good that another the man that you're calling trash another woman's still going to want him so you're still trying to do damage control and be like he was this he was this he was that another one's still going to come and scoop him up the same way so it's kind of damage control for your self-esteem to be like i left because of this when a lot of times a lot of breakups the man has forced the end of the relationship to the point where the woman has to be the one to physically initiate the breakup but the man has been broken up with her a long time ago see i think it's the opposite oh do you i think i think women break up with men in their heads months before they initiate oh no no i agree with that so sorry let me clarify i think a woman will not be happy in a relationship and in her mind know the relationship is over but for some reason, there's, I think women are just built to go through hardship. You know, we carry babies. If we can carry a baby, we bleed once a month. Sorry to be explicit. Like we're built for just not the nicest of things. So we're able to endure for longer. I think men are cowards. So if they want to break up with a woman, they won't break up with her, but they will stop coming home. They will come home late. They will just do things that are very antagonizing, very upsetting. So the woman knows that her place has been completely dropped. Um, and then it's like, if you want to live with this baseline respect, that's mm. up to you. But a lot of women eventually will be like, okay, this makes no sense. That's why a man can have a baby on a woman and she stays. That's why a man can cheat. A lot of times you hear people cheating. It's not the one and done. There's maybe like the fourth time yeah. and she's finally had enough. Like, so, so it's interesting because what is, if a man is intentionally doing something to antagonize her yeah. relationship, that sounds like it's quite a toxic relationship. Yes. But if a man is withdrawing himself from the relationship so like you said him not coming home Mm -hmm. spending more time at work or Mm -hmm. his friends maybe they don't go out as much and i'm not saying that's okay it depends on the relationship but i think sometimes what i think sometimes what some women can underestimate Mm. is that because there are a lot of relationships where a woman is actually dictating the frame of the relationship and that happens more so now. I don't think I agree with that. I think I think that happens more so now. I think that's when you've gotten a man to fall in love with you. And I think it, men take a lot longer than women think to fall in love. So yes, a do. woman. Th- so I think once that man is in love, I definitely think the woman has a, has the power. I think before that man falls in love, the man has the power. Okay. I the reason I say that is because, on average. Yeah. If a guy wants to go out with his guy friends and yeah. a girl wants to go out with his girlfriends, who's asking who for, for permission? I think the guy's asking the woman. That's my point. Yeah. She's dictating the frame of the relationship. No, however, the caveat there is that the guy wants, probably wants to go out with his friend much more than she wants to go out with her friends. So he has to ask because he's been doing it consistently <laughs> and he's taking the mick now. So he's like, oh. Well, yeah, because a lot. I think I think a lot of it is the masculinity masculine seeks yeah. freedom yes very right? much and when a guy gets into a relationship that's why guys say to it, their boys like oh you're getting cuffed yeah right you're getting your, rest- your freedom I restricted see you there. Yeah. you're getting your freedom <laughs> restricted and so that's why i think yeah. at least it seems like she dictates a lot of the frame of the relationship yeah and i think in cases when that can happen yeah what can happen is that a man only he withdraws part of himself. I'm not saying this is okay, yeah. but in order to survive in the relationship, yes. in this new paradigm yeah. that, that they have now become, he withdraws elements of him yes. 
that he feels either would be unaccepted or unappreciated. Yeah. So then she gets this lesser version of him. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, <laughs> if it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's, if it's like, for example, let's say in the beginning, yes, a guy would like take you out twice a week. Yes. But then sometimes he would go to his boys on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And because you were just dating, there was no expectation yeah. on your part for him to like, oh, if he's with his friends this weekend, that's mm -hmm. cool. A year down the line, he's going to his friends this weekend and you're like, but we have a weekend free. Why do you want to spend it with me? See, so that you then goes saying? back to my earlier point of you have to call every day because the thing about being in a relationship a is lot. that you have to learn to merge your lives and you have to slowly build into the fact of being connected with your partner because I think a challenge for men and why men struggle to get rela into relationship like what you said about the handcuffs is what a relationship does is take away a man's independence, like his full autonomy. Yes, it And does. men are people who want to operate under their own autonomy, do what they want when they feel they want to do it, you know, and not have to answer to anyone. Mm. However, that is not the reality of a successful relationship. To you. No, no, to any, you can't, you can't have two individual people with their own individual will and come together. It's never gonna, you have to sacrifice and you have to compromise. That's, if you ask anybody who's been in any kind of successful relationship, a key word they will say is communication and compromise. I agree. Like you can't be exactly who you want to be and have someone else there because at the end of the day, they're gonna have some expectations of you as you're their partner, you're not a stranger on the street. So sure. they're gonna have some expectations of you and you're gonna have some expectations of them. Mm. So you're both going to have to bend. So you can't be completely independent. And I think where we miss a lot of success in relationships is nobody's willing to bend. Okay, so in terms, I agree. In terms of being independent, yeah. what do women bend in terms of their independence to be in a relationship with a man? It depends what kind of relationship you're in and it depends what you've kind of agreed, uh, what are the parameters of what you will do in the relationship and what he will do in the relationship. And it looks different in a lot of relationships. Do you think women sacrifice their independence f to be in a relationship? Again, it depends the, the type of, I don't think you need to sacrifice your independence, but so I'll just speak on my kind of relationship. So sure. I'm a very like, I'm like a city girl, ha ha, fun, fun, but I'm also at home very traditional. So I sacrifice a lot of my time. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm very modern in one way, now traditional. I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> like, I will go out, have my fun, do everything, but at home. I ain't cooking for a man, but you better damn no, pay I for do, me. I do, I do. I, I cook, I cook, no, no, I I'm clean. I think so. A lot of that is my time. Like, it, I could come home and sit down and rest, but now I have to meal prep. I have to, you know, figure out how I'm going to clean the house. I have to change sheets. I have to do our laundry. I have to, so these are a lot of things that. Um, I have to, you know, sacrifice in terms of figure out what's going on with him. How can I help? How can I support? And yes, I get equal support back, but that is stuff that takes my resources. Like, you know, that is stuff those, that takes my those, energy. I do get that. I, a lot of those things you would be doing, but just for yourself though. Like if, like when you're not in a relationship, you're not not no, doing So then that, that's the difference between a 50% workload and 100% workload. And also that's not necessarily true because if I come home and I'm tired and I feel like eating crackers, I'll eat some crackers and go to bed. Okay. I don't, I can't necessarily serve my man crackers. <laughs> sure. So is it fair to say that there are moments in being a relationship where you will choose to do something maybe you don't want to do, but you do because it's a hundred percent and both sides that's you right. have to. Yeah. And that's why I say, I'm not saying everybody cooks and cleans like I necessarily do, but within what you've decided within the parameters of your relationship that is your responsibility and his responsibility, mm. everybody has to sacrifice. If there's no sacrifice, why would I want to be with you? I hear that. Like if you're just living your life for you, and I'm living for me and you. And this is why, I, this is something that we kind of talk about in my relationship. Like, um, I'll do my best to make you happy and mm. you do your best to make me happy. And if we're both doing that as much as we can constantly, then we should both be happy. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I, I agree. Okay, okay, let me post a scenario to you. Oh, goodness. You don't have to disclose anything, obviously. Okay. If your man yeah. has a much higher sexual drive than you, yeah. So let's say for him, his need is like four times a week. Yeah. And your sexual drive is only once a week. Yeah. How would you resolve that issue? Gonna have to go up because I think- what you women would, would you accommodate for him? A hundred percent, because okay. I think women need to understand who they're dealing with. It's like, if, it's like going for a job and mm. not reading the job description and then being confused. Exactly. And this is how a lot of women lose their men. And not to say that this is right, but 
men are sexual creatures and mm. the one thing that men have always done since the beginning of time is hunt sex mm. <laughs> like, it's very not true. so it it's very negligent as a woman especially if your man has a high sex drive mm. to keep him in a situation where by the rules of the situation he's trapped so he can't go and sleep with anyone else he only can sleep with you you have to fulfill that need now you don't want a crackhead sorry who like <laughs> let's say you're sick and he's like but i want do you know what i mean you also have to have someone who's considerate you're of dying you yeah ever oh, oh man. this morning wood right now <laughs> yeah. we do something <laughs> you can't you know you both have to have a care for each other yes but everybody has to, like women are emotional and it makes no sense. And I don't get when I say when men try to use logic on women, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't mm. matter if it makes sense. We fall into yeah. this trap all the time. Like, it's so true. I hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.